not a big Panic fan. Okay, let me take that back. I was watching Panic for a little bit, but I was on Panic for like, I would say like six months. After six months, I was like, nigga, you talk too much. You gotta shut the fuck up. Like, get to your point. Damn. I couldn't do it. I love him. I love him. He's so informative. But he just talk. I'm like, nigga, you live in the past. Like, come to the present. Like, what the fuck? Anyway. No, cause so, I, that's something I be telling people. Like, look, Bobby Hammett talked twenty years ago. Panic. Most of the stuff you hear from Panic was almost ten years ago. Like, that's the old stuff. And the, the, the right. people who are finding it now and getting excited, okay, they're, they're part of the masses and don't even realize it. You know, they may be the, the the cutting edge of the front of the masses, but they're still the masses. Like that shit is old. There's a whole right. new order of things going on. Bobby Hammett said this shit is over 20 years ago. This is a whole new order. And niggas ain't caught up on what the new order is because they spending all their time trying to wake up dead niggas. Like, okay, so for example, like for me, it's funny when you said that because like I had joined like this spiritual group and it was really good and all of this stuff. But I was like, yo, do we do more than this? <laughs> And she was like, more than what? I'm like, okay, I know we do spells. I know we do rituals. But like, <laughs> what, do we do anything outside of spells and ritual? Because I feel like spells and rituals, mm, it's not enough. Yes. Yes. So then she started talking to me. Like, then she started talking about, um, <clears throat> you know, breaking down the physical world and all that other stuff. But for some reason, it just wasn't clicking and it wasn't resonating with me. Like, I just was just like, oh, I, I just, it just, it wasn't enough. <laughs> it sounds like it felt like uh, Christian religion all over again. It probably was. It was. And she did come from a Christian background. Anyway. So now that I'm sitting here talking to you, I'm like, yo, we don't talk about none of this type shit in my group. Mm-mm. None of it. Nobody none is talking about this a, shit. Right. Not even a fact. Like, she says, you know, go into your imagination space and stuff and stuff and stuff. But it's like, there's no framework. Mm-hmm. It's all from a, a premises of human. Like that's what yeah. I'm usually getting on people about is their premises of thinking is that the, the things that they're designing that they're building are on the premises of the idea that what you are is human and that's a subtle agreement that just gets skipped over but there's a lot in that contract right it's like if I if I signed you up for a contract and say okay um, you agree to be a Zubalaza for the rest of your life and you're like I don't even know what that is that's cool that sounds fine that sounds easily but as soon as you look at the fine print of that contract, there's a whole bunch of shit you just agreed to. Right. Like, when you agree yeah. with your, your, that yourself is human, there's a lot of things you agree to in the, how you frame what yourself is. Right. There's a lot of shit in that. That's why I say human is the lie. Right. 